Frank Inizalea from TolerateCinematics.com and today I'm going to show you how to use a linear Y transition in Premiere Pro. The reason why I'm making this tutorial is because it's really interesting if you use it in combination with overlay transitions like this one. Which you can of course buy on our website, a link to this will be in the description. So this way it's really interesting to do something on top of your linear wipe to make it look interesting. But you have to know how to do the linear wipe first. So I will create a new sequence here and we'll make it, um, well, just a preset here, which means that it's full HD, uh, square pixels, 30 FPS, um, all okay. And I will rename it transition and click okay. And I will add my tracks here. So I have one video file here and I will just keep the existing settings right here. Uh, this should be the same kind of look as you have if you don't. Uh, this is one of the best layouts in my opinion to work in Premiere Pro. So I will add these two files here. So I have two video files, one like this and then we have a cut to another scene. And uh, just as a preview, what I will do here is like, if you want to apply transition, you can see on this icon that this is the actual end of your video for both of these. And if you're going to apply a transition, it will not work because it's it doesn't have anything extra to work with. It's going to work if you apply a video transition, for example, dissolve and dip to black. That's going to work because it's going to um, actually dip to black, so that doesn't matter. But if you're going for a cross dissolve, it won't work. S it's the end of the video and you can see that it actually freezes in the overlay. To fix that, uh, you first have to drag these in a little bit and then connect them and add the cross dissolve and that way you will have a clean transition. That being said, we have here one transition called wipe and if we're going to apply this, this is what is closest to what we want to achieve actually, but you can see that it doesn't have any feather in the um, middle here. Unfortunately, if you click on it, um, you can't actually add any feather, which is a little bit unfortunate because this is a really easy way to apply a transition. To actually do a linear wipe, you have to delete your transition and have your first video file on top of your other video file. And you have to drag the second video file a little bit in, so they overlap a little bit over here. So I will zoom in here. We have some time and this is the time that it's going to take to do the actual transition. So we'll click on our first clip, go to effect and search for linear wipe. So that's right here under the transitions for video effects. I'm going to apply this to this scene. And now right at the beginning of my other layer on the second uh, frame, well on, on the second, well the first layer actually, um, I'm going to the beginning of that video file and I will click on my first video file and click on the stopwatch for transition completion, which is currently set at zero. I will go at almost the end of my video clip and here I will set the transition completion to 100. What that will do is if we're going to zoom in here, um, it's going to do an animation like this, which looks really cool. Um, now you can go here and rotate your angle. So maybe you want to reveal it that way or that way. Let's say we want to reveal it like so. Well, actually the other way around. Okay, it looks pretty cool. And now we have the option to add some feather to it. And this is really important if you're working with overlay transitions. So feather 500% and now we have something like this. Okay, a wipe doesn't look really cool. So what we can add is some of these here. I have the snowflake transitions. Again, uh, you can go to the link in the description and I will take you to the page of this. Uh, we'll add more in the future. But like right here, I have one that goes to the left bottom diagonal. So I will drag this in and put it on top of this and then try to find the exact same way where the linear wipe is taking part. So of course you will have to do a little bit of extra work here. So maybe it has to go a little bit faster so you can zoom in here. If you click, click on your video file with your linear wipe, you can zoom into the second timeline for the effect controls and tuck that in a little bit. So like so, and that's going to make it a little bit faster. Okay, you can also right click on your actual transition and speed that up if you want to do something like 200% and that's also going to add a little bit. The faster it goes, the, yeah, the harder it's going to notice any mistakes. So uh, let's play this back. 
Alright, so that's pretty cool and that's actually it for this tutorial. I will also make a tutorial on how I've actually created this kind of transition. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial helped you out and if it did, give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>